If you are new to tradition and you have no idea where to start, I have a couple different resources for you to check out. If you are returning, I'm so happy that you came back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Dina and I am a Catholic wife. If you are new to tradition, you might feel like you are at ground zero. Like you have no idea where to start, what to get. And sometimes I can even feel like that, especially as we continue to learn more about all the things we don't know and discovering different resources. So I wanted to compile a couple different things for you to check out. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below. So if you're interested, definitely pick up these items to help you and your family learn more about the traditional Latin mass, about traditional Catholicism. One of the first resources that we had as a new family to the Latin mass wasn't even anything that we purchased. Our parish happens to have the red missiles available before mass and you can use it and return it or you can purchase it. And I think they were selling them for like $5 or what have you, but you can get these on Amazon if you are not 100% sure or if you don't want to invest in a proper missile. I've shared before the missile that I use. This is my daughter's missile, so it's not tabbed like you might have seen in my previous videos. And this is the one that our family uses. So each one of our family members has the Angelus Press missile. And this is the one that I am familiar with. I am considering purchasing the Father Lissance missile. Let me know in the comments down below, which missile do you use if you attend the traditional Latin mass? The two other things, if you are interested in traditional Catholicism, that I highly recommend is a proper catechism. Now we have the Baltimore Catechism and it's a series of four books. In addition to the Baltimore Catechism, I would highly recommend the Catechism from the Council of Trent. This is the one we have. It's a little bit more expensive, so if you're not looking to invest on this, I'm pretty sure you can find this online. Next is a proper Bible. And the Bible that I use happens to be the Dewey Rames. This is the one I've showed it before. I do have it tabbed and I will link all of this in the description box below. My good friend Jenny from The Good Enough Catholic says the best Bible is the one that you're going to read. As long as it is a proper Catholic Bible, it's gonna be one that you're gonna pick up. But if you're looking to be a traditional Catholic, most traditional Catholics will tell you the Dewey Rames is the preferred option to have. Now, another resource that I would highly recommend is books that are teaching us about what has happened to the faith. A lot of people like me who came up through the Novus Ordo had no idea, and still I don't believe we have the full picture of what was taken, what was lost. One way we learn about traditional Catholicism is by doing the work. We can watch all the YouTube videos, and that is a great resource, it's Census Fidelium, The Remnant, different Catholic YouTubers who provide traditional Catholic resources, but really for you to get a full understanding of the faith, you're gonna have to do the work. And I would highly recommend books like this, Reclaiming Our Catholic Birthright. This book breaks down all the things that we really don't even know that were taken from us. We saw him speak at the Catholic Identity Conference. It's a brilliant man. He writes for 1 Peter 5, other different resources. I would definitely encourage you to check out his work. And this book, I'm just in chapter two and already I'm just blown away at all the things that were taken from us. So I highly recommend this book. Let me know if you've read it and what you think of his work. I belong to a lot of different Catholic groups on Facebook and that's where I get a lot of information and ideas for a lot of these videos and also for me to educate myself. One of the traditional Latin mass groups that I belong to on Facebook, someone had recommended picking up this right here. So this is the new to tradition kit. And I thought that it was such a brilliant idea and I have not even opened it yet because I wanted to save it to show you the books that come in here, and I will link it for you in the description box below. It is very inexpensive, and I think that this can be an invaluable resource. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this with you and show you all the books that come in this new to tradition kit. I don't know if you are anything like me, but as a person who came up through the Novus Ordo, kind of stumbled into traditional Catholicism, and just learning as we go all the things that we don't even know. I have heard from several people that have a fundamentally flawed understanding of the society, the SSPX. And for me, I don't want to just take what other people say at face value and not do the work myself. So I wanted to get this kit. It explains a lot of the things about traditional Catholicism. So when you open up the kit, you get this letter and it's a letter of introduction, and I'm not gonna read it to you, but it explains basically the overview of the society, what they're all about, what our Archbishop Lefebvre was actually about, and I encourage you to look further into it and not just take what other people might think they know about the Archbishop, 
And one thing that I know when I first got into the Latin Mass and I would see in the comments repeatedly, the only reason you have the Latin Mass is because of Archbishop Lefebvre. And I think at the time I was almost conditioned to think that the SSPX, we had to avoid them at all costs. And as I've continued to educate myself and learn more about the society, the more I'm starting to understand and have a true appreciation for what he did. I don't wanna make this video about the society per se because I really feel that I am woefully uneducated to speak on that topic. That's why I wanted to get this kit so I can look at it for myself, my husband can look at it and we can make the decisions for our family and you do what's best for yours. But what I didn't wanna do is just take what other people have said about the society and run with that. One thing that you get in the YouTube tradition kit is you get all these pamphlets that come in it and it's going to break down all the questions like who are we what are we doing you get where is obedience today this question here why the latin mass why not the novus ordo a little pamphlet here about the sspx if they're schismatic or not and then this one here the sspx and what makes their fight unique you get this little booklet here about the bombs of the second vatican council we get this little booklet here, which is the Sunday Latin Mass Missal. It is similar to this one here, but this is the one by the Society, and the Missal that we use is also by the Society from Angelus Press. And that's where this kit is from, is Angelus Press. This is a much better option than this one if you are looking for just a paper missal to have. This is a beautiful edition. And the book that I was so excited to read, and I cannot wait to read it, and I will do a review of this book, is this one right here is an open letter to confused Catholics. And I don't know what faithful Catholic who's being honest isn't confused as to what is happening in the church now. There is real diabolical influences that are happening that have been happening, a true infiltration in the church. And I am excited to read this book by Archbishop Lefebvre and to find out what his thoughts were about the crisis that has been in the church for so long now and I will definitely do a review on this one. So pick this one up if you are interested in hearing his thoughts. This is another book that comes in the kit, Is Tradition Excommunicated? On the back of the book, it says from St. Pius X, the true friends of the people are neither revolutionaries nor inventors, but men of tradition. And it's so interesting now how we are being led to believe that tradition needs to be done away with, that everything new, everything invented, that's where we need to go as a church and we need to do away with the mass of the saints and traditional Catholicism as if that were the problem within Christ's church. And then this one is going to be a fantastic book and I might just take these questions and make a video for you all and it's the most asked questions about the Society of St. Pius X. And some of the questions that you can find out the answers to are who was Archbishop Lefebvre? What is the Society of St. Pius X? Wasn't the Society of St. Pius X lawfully suppressed, wasn't Archbishop Lefebvre suspended from performing all sacred functions, along with all the priests he ordained? What are Catholics to think of Vatican II? Do traditional priests have jurisdiction to hear confessions and perform marriages? May we attend masses offered under Samorum Pontificum? Wasn't Archbishop Lefebvre excommunicated for consecrating bishops unlawfully? Isn't the Society of St. Pius X schismatic? What are we to think about the fraternity of St. Peter? And what are we to think of the new catechism of the Catholic Church? And what about set of a contest? So this is going to be an invaluable resource. And I will definitely share with you my thoughts on this one. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts about the society. If you are grateful to Archbishop Lefebvre, if you think that we should stay clear of the society at all costs. I'm just curious to hear what your thoughts are. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm sure that someone who is much better versed in the society would be happy to jump in and answer. And I will definitely be making more videos about the society, what I discover, what I find out, and share them with you. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I will see you next week. Take care and God bless.